Hi there, trailer owners. Today we're going to be taking a look at Optronics submersible and reversible LED fender marker light with chrome trim. This marker light is considered reversible because on one side we have our amber light and on the other side we have our red LED light. Amber is for the front and red is for the back and it's considered reversible because it's the same on both sides and you can easily swap this over to the other side of your trailer and it works fine on both sides. Each of these lights has a single LED, one for the red and one for the amber. And you can see how small this marker light is. It's considerably smaller than any of your incandescent markers. There's uh, small little peanut bulbs you can get, but with those, you're gonna have a light that's gonna be this size or larger, and you're only gonna get a single function out of it. It's gonna produce one color. With this one, we are able to have an even smaller size and get both the red and the yellow light. So if having a small form factor in space is good for you, or maybe you just don't like the look of big lights, you want something more modern, smaller, and sleek, this is a great option. We've got it installed on our tandem axle trailer here, and I really like the way that it looks. And me personally, when I messing around with my trailer, doing some work and stuff. I like to set a lot of things on top of the, the fenders. Maybe I'll sit on them while I'm working on stuff for just a second. And it's nice that I don't have a big bulky light here in the way. I can kind of have freedom to use the fender as I would use it. Here you can see our old fender. We just got done putting a new fender on this one. And we decided rather than swapping over this old style light here, that's much larger to give it a much more modern look to it. And you can see how much smaller this is. This is also an LED light versus the old incandescent light here. And with incandescence, typically the incandescent bulbs are gonna be dimmer. So this one, even though it's smaller, is gonna be brighter with a little more presence. And it draws less power than the incandescence here. So that means you can potentially run even more lights. Or if your, your trailer is often maybe going off grid, you use solar a lot. By removing incandescent lights and going to LEDs, you can save a lot of energy. And beyond that, LEDs also typically have a lifespan, usually about 50 times longer than that of an incandescent bulb. It's a quick and easy installation to get one of these installed. You will have to provide your own mounting hardware, so you can get some small button head self-tapping screws, unless you can reuse your old lights mounting hardware if you're just replacing one of those. If you want to follow along with us, it's just two wires to get it connected. Let's go ahead and get that installed now. We'll begin our installation by determining where we're going to place our light. We've decided to put ours right in the center of our fender, which just happens to run right down here along the, uh, the beam here. And then we were gonna put it about three quarter of the way out. So we just measured from six inches out. Now yours is likely gonna be different. You can put this you know, anywhere you want on your fender. It doesn't have to go where we're putting it. So I've gone ahead and made a mark there. And now I'm gonna use a 3 8 drill bit to drill out a hole, because that's where we're gonna pass our wires down through. Now, if you're just replacing an existing light, once you remove the old one, you'll likely already have a hole there that you can pass your wires down through. But since this is a new fender and he has no holes, we're gonna have to make our own. So I've already marked out the spot. I'm just gonna drill down through it. And now we're just gonna put a little flat black paint on it. It's gonna match our paint and it's gonna protect us from corrosion there. You can also use a clear coat if you don't have matching paint for your fenders. We can now slide our wires down through the hole. You do want to pay attention though, there's a sticker next to your wires and you can see here that yellow and red. So the yellow's for our amber light, red's for the red light. The red needs to face towards the rear of your trailer and amber towards the front. So we're just going to slide those down through, making sure we keep it in the orientation where red is towards the rear. We're now just going to make sure our light is centered front to back, so that way it's going straight down. And then we're going to use small button head self-tapping screws to run it into place. You can get these at your local hardware store. So we're going to leave it just a little bit loose, so that way we have a little bit of play in it so we can make sure that it is straight. And then we'll just run in our other self-tapping screw. We're now right underneath the fender here. We've got our wires passed down, and then we also have our wiring for our light here. We got our ground wire, and then running from the inside, we have our power wire. So we're gonna go ahead and strip back. Just starting with the power wire, we're gonna do that one first. The wires on our light do come pre-stripped, but I like to strip just a little bit more off of there, just to make it a little easier to make my connection. 
We'll now take a heat shrink butt connector. We're gonna slide it onto our power wire, crimp it down. And then on the other side of our butt connector here, we're just gonna bring it on over to our light and attach it to that. I'm gonna go ahead and twist the wires. You see they kind of frayed. We wanna get all those strands in there. We don't want any loose strands, especially on our power side, because those could potentially short out to a ground source. I went ahead and connected the ground wire in the same way that we did our power wire. Now we're just gonna use our heat gun to shrink down our butt connectors. If you need heat shrink butt connectors, you can get those here at eTrailer.com. Now before we go ahead and snap our cover on, I recommend go ahead and test it out. You can plug it into your truck and turn on your tail lights, and we can see it's working properly there. It's just a good idea to test it first in case you need to remove it, maybe you swapped it and had it the wrong way. Popping these covers off, you do just put a screwdriver under it and pop it up to get it off, but it is made of plastic, so you don't want to put any dings in it with your screwdriver or anything and potentially cause any damage to it. So now we know it's working, we just set it right down on top and just push it into place. We can then repeat that on the other side if we've got one for over there and you can put as many as on as you want. Maybe you got some for the side of your trailer as well. And that completes our look at Optronics submersible and reversible LED trailer fender light with chrome trim.